I'm Dr. Jim Taylor, and welcome to Prime Family Alert. The topic for this segment of Prime Family Alert is teaching your children to suck it up. Popular culture conveys to children very unhealthy messages about responsibility. Through its focus on the pampered lives of the rich and famous, and advertising that suggests life should always be a party, popular culture communicates to your children that if it's not fun, easy, or interesting, they just shouldn't have to do it. If your children get tired, bored, or uncomfortable, they shouldn't even try. The messages of rebellion in pop and hip-hop music, the sense of entitlement shown by professional athletes, and the disdain spoiled movie stars express toward what most of us would see as normal responsibilities tells your children that being responsible is just not very cool. Yet, as children are going to learn sooner or later, the adult world just doesn't work like that, at least for most of us. To prepare your children for that real world, teach them that sometimes they just have to stop complaining and suck it up. Part of being a responsible adult is accepting that there are a lot of things in life that we don't care to do, but we do them anyway because we have to. It's the job. How often do you do, do you do things for your children that you would really rather not? I'll bet you just love taking your children to their music class at the end of a long day, or to a soccer tournament 200 miles away from home on a weekend. Of course you don't, but you suck it up and do it because that's part of the job of being a parent. Your children need to learn that they too have a job to do, and life now and in adulthood often involves doing things that they just don't want to do. If they have to do it, why not just stop complaining, suck it up, and do the best they can? For example, I constantly hear children complaining that they hate math or some other school subject or household chores. The following conversation is one I often have with students when I speak to them in groups. Though it may not convince them right away to suck it up, they always admit that it makes sense. Here's how the conversation goes. Can you get out of math? No, we have to take it, usually said with a grimace and an eye roll. But because you don't like it, you don't give it much effort. Sure, why should we? We hate it. What kind of grade do you think you'd get? Oh, probably a C or a D, or even worse, an F. How would that make you feel? Pretty darn bad. And how would your parents feel about that bad grade? Oh, they would definitely not be happy about it. And would that bad grade help or hurt your chances of getting into a good college? It would definitely hurt. What would happen if you just decided to stop complaining, suck it up, maybe hate every moment of it, but do the best you can in the class anyway? What kind of grade would you get? Oh, probably an A or B. And how would you feel about that? Hmm, pretty good. And how would your parents feel about it? Oh, they would be very happy and they'd get off our backs. I'll bet you'd like that. Now, would that good grade also help you achieve some other goal, like getting into a good college? Definitely. So, what life lessons do you think you might learn from this experience? Well, like sometimes you have to just suck it up? Very funny. Any other life lessons? Oh, okay, how about hard work and persistence and, well, being responsible? Absolutely. Another thing I found is that many children have a surprising thing happen when they're sucking it up in that class that they hate. They actually come to enjoy it. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, with a glint of realization in their eye. So do you think that just sucking it up is a pretty good thing to do overall? Yeah, they say begrudgingly, knowing that I'm right. So, next time you're faced with a situation you don't like, but you can't get out of it, think about our conversation and perhaps choose to just suck it up. Getting your children to suck it up is easier said than done, of course. Start with a conversation. There's a new sheriff in town. We're going to play by different rules now. Introduce the idea to them so they understand it. Some parents also don't like to use the, use the word suck because it, it has other less positive connotations. For example, I suck, you suck, that sucks. If you feel uncomfortable with this, substitute suck it up with tough it out. But I will say that I found that most children know the difference and suck it up resonates more with them. Your children can easily generate examples of having to do things they would rather not. As I've said before, subjects in school, household chores, even being nice, even being nice to their siblings. Have the same conversation with your children that I had above. Then, when those suck it up moments arise in the future, remind them of the conversation and ask them what they should do. Of course, your children won't immediately buy into the concept, but over time, as they see its benefits, they'll likely start to suck it up on their own. In teaching your children to suck it up, you better prepare them for the adult world. They learn that responsibility is a powerful and rewarding value. They also learn to be skeptical of messages from popular culture, telling them that life should always be easy and that stepping up to the plate is for losers. 
your children will learn that life isn't always fun and games. And when they choose to be responsible, stop complaining, suck it up and do the best they can, good things usually happen. I'm Dr. Jim Taylor for Prime Family Alert.